Yo, what up guys? It's your boy Wolfie back at again with some more motherfucking videos. I'm finally doing it. I know it's been like a m I think like three months <laughs> since I've said I was gonna do this shit. But we're proud play and pray. Uh don't have that. Don't have that. Subtitle Mandala vibration. No, I like that vibration. Uh, I turn the music down a bit. I think a thirty should be fine. Um, I'll bring the effects down just a bit too. I'll put that at 60. And I'll put speech volume down to like 80. Alright, I have no clue how the fuck that's going to affect the game, but we'll find out! <laughs> New game, right here. Story uncover the secrets of Talos 1. Survival is all but guaranteed. Survival won't be a problem for you, probably. Use your wits, weapons, and abilities to survive. Your wits are the only thing that will keep you alive. Nothing can save you. Well, I've never played this game, so if I choose any of these, I'll fuck. This is set uh, optional modifiers to make the game more challenging. Weapon degradation. Weapon wears down from use and environmental hazards. If not repaired, they will jam. Adds new trauma stasis to games such as bone fracture, concussion, hemorrhage, and third degree burns. Suit damages cause air to leak from your suit, limiting your air supplies in environments with no atmosphere, such as the station exterior. Dude. I'm just gonna go on normal. <laughs> and I'm not adding any survival shit, because like I said, I've never played this game. So this is just a brand new experience for me in general. Now, what I can say is if I enjoy the game enough, I will go back to the game. Which reminds me, I have not set my fucking timer for my uh, phone. Give me a Alright, there we go. I think I've had about like five to ten minutes already of talking, so it should be fine. Nothing, nothing major. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue on with this, shall we? Oh, side note. If you hear me doing this. I have some Coke and uh, vanilla liqueur. Some very delicious vanilla liqueur. All right, do I want to be a chick or do I want to be a dude? Hmm. Let's see, which one looks more like me? I think I look more like a chick. Ah, let's go, dude. <laughs> it's too bad you can't customize some shit. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. But do I, though? Or do I wake up in someone else's apartment? The mystery begins. Another side note. Uh, this is on console. So, extremely long loading times. Uh, in future, uh, I might edit them out. Like, I might actually try to edit the entire series. I don't know yet. Because I don't know how much uh, talking I'll be able to fucking do. But uh, we'll find out. Now, if only this game would load faster. Oh, wow. Maybe I should whisper more often. It just fucking jumped.
Also, if it picks up me clicking my buttons, I apologize now. Uh, I can have a, like, I have to have my controller, like, uh, stomach high. That's, well, I don't need to have it, but I just have this habit of it. Let me click X. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Eh, throw my clothes. Who needs clothes? Is there something, like, secret in here? Oh, I could take one shoe. And now I broke the shoe. Warning, their mod should only be administered by certified transar technicians under controlled conditions. Subjects may split, experience, slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterward. Remove Neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Yeah, I don't need to know how to fucking... I'm not inserting them in real life. Uh, plastic tubing and a pool of old fray wire. I feel like I'm gonna need them. Do I have a weight limit? How, do, how can I tell? Well, it says health, but I don't see weight limit. Oh, whatever. Eh. Okay. Eh. Yeah, I'm not gonna read all this. That, that's. Eh. There we go. <laughs> I have three emails. Wait, do I have to click? Oh, I have to click square. For okay. Congrats and welcome. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for your life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources. I hope Thomas dies. Hey, I sent you a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, Transcart, and Neuromod. Install the Neuromod right away as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch, Alex. Hey, I just got off the phone with Mom and Dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. But they send their best. I think Mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said, you better behave and do everything your big brother says, okay? Actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll prob call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon. Morgan. That's not what I wanted. That's sort of chapter three speech. Okay. Yeah, break the glass. All right. Well, you're useless. Uh, I will deal with all this after. I must. Congrats, Morgan. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, something about science. Heart of walk. Cooking with a well-seasoned walk. Oh, okay. Doesn't walk like a, a Japanese pan or something? Carry leverage three. Uh, I guess I can't carry the refrigerator. Well, that's disappointing. Of course I wanted to, but hey, right. I'm just gonna take everything. You never know what's needed.
This fucking game won't work. Fuck you! That was a lot of shit. It's like one hiding right in the middle. Wait, what the fuck was that? Oh, that's some type of fucking poetry or some shit. Hey, what are you? So, I take it that's my father and mother. And my brother. My brother's kind of chunky. Goodbye. Anything in here? Nope. This looks like the great place for a fucking, uh... Ah, oh, yes. Oh. Drizzle that sweet nectar of life on me. Uh-huh. You always have to be clean for the day. But yeah, I was gonna say that this looks like the great spot to just have, like, some type of fucking jump scare. Do I look at this one? Uh, I don't know. Let me take the suit. To the chapa. It's locked. Morning, Mr. Yu. Locked. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Here, let me hold this for you. <laughs> you seem to be very bad at your job. I think he's clearly pushing out some type of fucking steam or nitrogen or some shit. You're just sitting here, like, staring at your fucking phone. Are you not know fuck helping you? You suck. Jump, sprint, crouch. Okay. Uh... Oh, hey, at least I can run to a degree. That's always a plus. Am I able to just like Okay yeah I can just quick save Okay Wait can I save the game Wait I'm so confused Am I normally able to just save And quick save like, is, that, is that supposed to be a thing uh, It's locked Move access Can I, like, jump off the side of the roof? Or go anywhere else, for that matter? <clears throat> dude, this dude got some hops! The fuck? Where do I... Oh. There we are. I wonder if they're gonna make a prey, too. Very interesting if they do. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transstar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. Bethesda Software presents Spear Distribution. Transgressions. Is that an anime, bitch? Nah, that's, that's someone else. Fuck that. That's a nice view on the bay there. An Arcane Studios production. Damn you notice. We go up, fly to the top of the world. Damn, don't you notice? As we go up, we reach for the top of the world. Pray. 
Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Post your glass. Alright, well, I guess I push forward. Hello, Dr. Yu. Hello, weird robot thingy. Um. Is that supposed to be there? I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Okay, I don't know what that means. So. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a. 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Are we just gonna uh, ignore the giant puddle of blood that's over there? I need more alcohol for this. <sighs> Morgan! Finally! Ah, fat man. Finally. Hey. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Okay, let me don't go. Don't overthink here. it. Dr. Bellamy is going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. I don't care about that. I we'll be in orbit good. next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. I have to sneeze. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. There we go. Dr. Yu. Yes? Did you call? Stereotypical looking black man? They're waiting for you, sir. They should have turned around and gave him some, like, silky smooth hair. Good morning, Morgan. I would have been I'm hilarious. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. No one cares Probably about your tests. That's the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Okay. Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. What would they do if I just left the boxes I and just... I didn't touch them at all? What's this one? Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like uh, you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Morgan, we can see you there. Hmm. Uh, any Isn't... synaptic register at all? No? no? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. So there's a giant screen between you and me. I'm assuming you guys are dead. <laughs> like, I watched Prey when it came out, but I cannot remember a damn thing about the fucking game. <laughs> All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm just gonna stand here and see what happens. Spin in circles. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. 
One last room. Let's step into D. <laughs> We're gonna step into the D. Open the fucking door! Thank you. Am I able to sit down? Okay, I can. Can sit. someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Is it Wonderful bad job. that I think that dude's gonna die first? Take a look first. at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. You go somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new? Ah. New. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel afraid? I don't know how angry no one has the right calm. It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. I mean, if I don't have any relation to any of them, I'll just go for switch the tracks Good. and kill the fucking Next. one on the second one. A one-way train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train. <laughs> Sacrifice one for the many. Almost done. Seems like Chinese politics is bearing down on five people. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Push the fat man. <laughs> I'll jump on the tracks. Wow. Um, I'm impressed. I don't know if I'd really well jump done. on the tracks, but... Well I'm, done. I'm just choosing We it. nearly threw it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... My coffee. It's empty. Oh, my God. Security! Security! <laughs> Hey! Don't knock me unconscious. I wanted to stare at the dead corpse. Because clearly that man's an idiot. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Yeah. I don't like this. I think I'm in a time loop. Hey, they were nice enough to give me more stuff. Wait, they did give me more stuff, right? Wait a minute. They took my shit! They even took my data! What the fuck? Now I have to reread everything. God damn it. Motherfuckers. Yes, yes, yes. Enter my password. Why is there six now? Danger leave now, danger leave now, danger leave now, danger. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, apparently I have to leave now. Dude, they took my alcohol too. That makes me sad. They didn't even replace my alcohol. Guys, wish to die today. Die today. Die today. These guys wish to die today. And I will feel no remorse. What the fuck did I just pick up? What? Am I crouched? I was crouched. Okay. Um.
Oh good. I have another one. I think he just wants to get me drunk. Take all this shit. Alright, you know what? I think I'll leave the first episode off here. Continue on with the next episode. Because... I'm very annoyed. They took my shit. They could have at least left it for me. What the fuck? I fucking get all my shit again now. Alright. This has been... Actually, I'm going to just call myself fools from now on. Instead of Wolfie. Because Wolfie was just a nickname I had in school. So I just kind of stuck with it. Or werewolf. So I think I'll just call myself Wolfie from now on. Or not Wolfie. Uh, fools from now on. Or try to remember anyway. But this has been Fools, the King's Fools Gaming. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Add a little salt to your diet. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace the fuck out.